In Brussels, behind the building's facades, meetings go on almost every day to formulate European legislation. But who influences the making of these laws? It's becoming clear that corporate interests are overrepresented, with corporate lobbyists sometimes even writing the first draft of a law. The EU Commission sets up expert groups to provide advice on specific issues when developing new laws. Yves de Lepine runs a lobbying school in Brussels focusing on getting his clients onto these expert groups to help the relevant European Commission policy officer. He needs people from the outside world to bring information. That is the work done by industry, NGOs, uh, any kind of interest which have an interest in the issue, will try to have face-to-face -face meetings with the policy officer. But some consumer rights groups say in the 1,000-plus expert groups established by the European Commission, their voices are not being heard. There is uh, sometimes a clear lack of other voices like civil society or NGOs and uh, this is of course a huge problem because that means that decision making or laws are only being influenced by some part of the society and, and this is a biased uh, situation. One stark example came when the European Commission set up the group of experts in banking issues after the recent financial crisis. 34 of the 42 members were from banks or investment firms. Mario Nava, who chaired that group, doesn't see the harm in this. I would really challenge anybody to find in the regulation a bias in favor of the one or the other group. I mean, that's, uh, that's I think, is a, is a leap too much. The fact that we listen mm -hmm. to them does not mean that we take their views whatsoever. And I repeat, and this is really the crucial point, we listen to everybody. One MEP helped to get 20% of the Commission's funding for expert groups held back until they could show more openness. I, uh, support very much transparency and I believe that we don't have enough transparency in the expert groups. I ask the Commission uh, more times to, to ensure transparency. We need to know who these people are, where they come from, to check if there are no conflict of interest involved. So uh, all this information must be, must be provided. Jorgos Vasalos from the campaign group Corporate Europe Observatory is glad some changes have been made but wants all the minutes and agendas of expert groups to be made public. The Commission should uh, propose new rules. They should draft these rules together with the Parliament and these rules should include safeguards against domination by special interests so that no single interest category can be allowed to have the majority in an expert group. There's now a register for members of expert groups. And as the European Parliament prepares to vote on restoring the withheld funding for these groups, campaigners hope the European Commission will make significant changes to the rules to ensure that all future expert groups are both balanced and transparent.